Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. What's up guys, Alcoin Sherper here with a crypto market review. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not an expert to your own research. Today, I'm going to just review Bitcoin, maybe Ethereum, we'll see. And we'll see where everything's at. So where are we at right now? We're seeing Bitcoin trade within this tight range over the last several days. And now it's having a fairly ugly day overall. And looks like it potentially could be heading to like the 7, 27, 28 Ks or so. And I think it's important to take a look at the higher time frame charts and see where we're at contextually. This area overall is a higher time frame support area. And I say area because the levels are not super clean. For example, you can see that there are a lot of taps all along this area all throughout 2021 and um, later in 2022 where um, price bounced off this area in June, uh, January and then later on in the summer of 21. So, and you can see lots of wicks all throughout this area. So that's what I mean by there's not really super clear levels overall. And um, that's really where price consolidated as well last May in 2022. It's almost been a full year, relatively speaking. So price, you know, traded and chopped around for like an entire year. Obviously, it didn't just chop around. It just made another leg lower, um, you know, from the 20, 30 Ks all the way down to 15 destruction and then it uh, has now had the strong move up and I think that what I said before one of the arguments for potential alt season is if price can't get through this current area so we're looking at this current area of consolidation where um, where price is just basically chopped around and one potential um, argument for alt season is if price dips on down to maybe like 28k, bounces, so you would see something like this bounce, and then uh, and it would just chop and range around, similar to what this consolidation period was from uh, all the way May and June, it chopped around for like a month and then it made another strong leg down. Now I don't know if it's going to make another strong leg down. Contextually speaking, the overall market structure is quite a bit different from, you know, the earlier parts of 2021, where it was pretty much just down only for the most part. Whereas, uh, you know, price went all the way down to 15K, chopped around for uh, from November to uh, January, and then it continued to consolidate after having a small move, strong move up. So... You know, maybe it is true that we'll just see something consolidate and then like leg down. But as far as I can see it currently on the one on the one day, it does still look like the market structure is bullish. So until we start seeing some lower highs and lower lows um, at that point, I think that you just have to be looking for longs at this point and um, and just assume that the trend is still up for now. Now. Is this the ultimate bottom? Like, you know, is price going to trade lower later this year? I have no idea. Uh, no, no real strong opinions, if I'm being honest. Like, you know, my gut feeling feels like this is still going to go higher into like the 35, 40 Ks. And then maybe we see some destruction in like Q3, Q4, or something like that, where, um, you know, macro shits the bed. But don't really have any super strong opinions. But for now, it does look like um, on lower time frames as well that price is still in a bullish market structure and dips are for buying. So what are some areas that I'd look to buy? I think that you first look at this overall consolidation range uh, right around, you know, this 27 to 28.5K area. This area has a lot of volume transacted. You can see that this would be the point of control from, uh, you know, the overall range. So, you know, something around 28K, it also is... Uh, it also coincides with the um, this 200 EMA on the four hour. So that would be the area that I would be looking to buy, probably around 28K. Um, there are some SR levels before then. So you can look at these wicks 
and see if they are going to provide any support. I, you know, I don't really know. I personally, uh, generally speaking, I think the liquidity is a little bit lower. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe like one strong like move down, uh, and then and then we start to go up or chop around. And if we see some chopping around at this point, then I think that at that point, alt season ideas are very similar or very um, they're very realistic at that point. But again, I don't really know what that's going to look like and how that will go. I, I personally am of the opinion that uh, this quote-unquote alt run that we potentially could have over the next few weeks or months, uh, it's not going to be as strong as the one it was in June, or I'm sorry, January, but but I still feel like it could be relatively decent uh, overall, generally speaking. So this would be like one argument for alt season is, you know, pr price trades down and then, and then goes back up. What we could see, um, the... The ways that alt season does not happen is if we um, do another leg up. So, like, you know, maybe we come back here and then, like, we start trading up really hard and just continuing the trend and just going really hardcore. Or if, like, we have, like, a shitty bounce and chop around and then, like, price goes even lower and goes to, like, the 25K areas, that would be another area where alt season does not happen because also get fucking destroyed. And if we'd make another strong leg up strongly, then I think alts just continue to consolidate and then um, range. And then maybe we see another move up later on. But as for now, I mean, as I said, dips are for buying. The areas that I would be looking for are 28K. It's, um, it, uh, there's a lot of confluence with the 200 EMA on the four hour SR level point of control of that range. And just an overall general um, support level if we're just, you know, taking a step back and looking at some other levels. Like if you just take a look at some of these levels that were um, established before, um, some of these other wicks that, that, that happened back in 2021, you know, these are all going to be important levels. So I think that, you know, so things still look pretty good. Things look like they are um, bullish. But again, I would be cautious in the very short term. I still think another, another potential leg down to like 28Ks. Uh, is probably the overall idea, uh, so to speak. Let's take a look briefly at Ethereum. I think ETH looks pretty reasonable, but to be determined if it's going to outperform Bitcoin. Now, the ETH BTC chart might be a more in important chart, but I'm just going to chart the ETH USD chart for now. Um, it is looking like it's potentially having a hard time breaking past this 2200 area or 2180 or 2150 or so. This area was tapped earlier uh, as um, as resistance and then it pulled back and then it obviously consolidated back in May and then had a strong leg down. So this entire area is a supply zone and you know there will be sellers. But given the way that price got up to this level, like, you know, it's kind of grinding, chopping around. It's like kind of had this like weird vertical accumulation. It makes me wonder if like, if it's really going to just straight pull back. I would have been a lot more convinced if it would pull back if, you know, we see like this big move up and then like chopping around and then at that point it, it's coming back. But when you start to see like these weird kind of vertical accumulation type of thing, um, it can mean a few different things, but... Um, and you might have heard the expression stairs up, elevator down. And that, that would just be like, you know, where we see something like this and then boom, like Bitcoin is quite, you see that on lower time frames for Bitcoin quite a bit. And th that could be the case here too. Like, you know, I'm sure we can find plenty of examples of this type of price action, to be frank and honest with you. Here's kind of a like stairs up, elevator down, where you see like this weird choppy price action all throughout July to August or September. And then like you start to see like these nasty nasty moves down um anyways what i'm trying to say is here that like you know it still looks pretty reasonable but it's to be determined if eth btc can out eth can outperform bitcoin um if, if bitcoin doesn't make another leg down then eth will obviously suffer and the area i would look for is like the 1700 if that comes that's like a big strong dip that would be confident with a 200 day ema i don't think that really happens though unless bitcoin really you know goes to i don't know say um, like 20, 26 K or so 20, 26, 25 K or something like that. I mean, that would be like a pretty sizable dip for Ethereum, in my opinion, but immediate buying opportunities would probably be around the 19, 
75 or so area, that would be um, kind of confluent with Bitcoin making another leg down, or maybe even like 1900. This would kind of be um, an area of interest, in my opinion, kind of like that. So, yeah, I, I think that this is like, you know, still an area to buy the dip, but I wouldn't necessarily be buying in this area. It still is a um, resistance area. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to keep doing videos like this every, um, trying to do five a week. So best of luck to you guys and thank you for the support.